As always, I use the NOCO GB150 jump box to jump start my vehicles. And uh, you can use regular jumper cables or a jump box. It doesn't matter. Um, if you're going to buy a jump box, you don't have to buy one this expensive or this big, but definitely buy a NOCO brand because they're probably the best brand you can get. All right, so let me show you how to get it done real quick. Okay, so... Okay, so when we're jump starting this vehicle, first thing we want to do is come over to the driver's side door, open that up, and then down here in the kick panel area, we're going to see this little lever right here that has a picture of a vehicle with the hood up. And we're going to go ahead and pull that, and that's going to pop our hood. All right, and then we'll come around here, and you'll see the hood. It won't open, right? Because it's got a secondary latch. So just above the little emblem here, you'll feel around and just to the driver's side of it, you'll feel around and like pinch up. And there you go. You can open your hood. And here is that little secondary latch I was telling you about, right? And then once you get the hood open, you have your, let me get that jump box. You have your battery, right? So here we have our positive connection, has the red plus sign on it, and it has a little plastic tab. Just push that and it opens it up. And there you have the metal for your positive connection. That's where you're going to put your red cable. And then right here is your negative, it has a negative sign, negative symbol on the top of it there. And you just kind of pull that straight up. Okay. And then that exposes your negative terminal, your black terminal. All right, so now that we've got that, we'll turn our box, well, to turn the light off, turn the box off, and then we're gonna connect our red cable first. If you're using another car and a set of jumper cables to jump this, go ahead and make sure that the other car is off while you're jumping, while you're hooking up all your cables, and then start it up and then try to start this car. All right, so another good feature of this box is it will read our voltage output. You see here we've only got 10 volts. We need 12, so that means we have a dead battery. We'll turn the box on. That should jump up to about 12 volts, 11. All right, and then if you would, go ahead and try to start it. All right, there you go. That's how to jumpstart your Hyundai Sonata. All right, another good feature of this NOCO GB150 box Boost Pro is that it reads the alternator output. So uh, your battery is just the energy that starts your car. Once it starts up, it gets its electricity from the alternator here. So you need to make sure your alternator is working properly and it's not just a battery issue you know, or that it's not more than a battery issue. So that's why I use this box so I can tell my customers, you know, if it's more than just a battery or just a battery. In this case, it's just a battery. So customer can get a new battery and they'll be fine. Now, okay guys, sorry, I got interrupted with a phone call there, but uh, kind of forget where we left off. I think we were talking about the charging system and the battery and if it was more than just the battery or just the battery in this case it's just the battery because this tells us the alternator is good now uh why could a battery be bad well they could age out they only last uh you know two to three years in florida i don't know where they how long they last in your state you can or country you can google that um but you know a lot of times it's age you know if it's human error and you left uh, like headlights on or hazard lights on or something like that and you drained your battery then that's a, a good thing that's human error that means that if you let it run 15 to 20 minutes it'll uh, charge back up the alternator will charge the battery back up and you'll be good and fine and you won't have any other issues and you won't need a new battery but if it ages out then you need a new battery there's no way around that because the alternator is not going to charge up a battery that doesn't have ingredients inside of it to hold the charge. So if it's aged out and those ingredients like the lead and acid inside the battery can't hold a charge, then it doesn't matter how long you let it run for, 
it won't it won't hold a charge and it won't start up you know tomorrow or, or the day after or whatever so just keep that in mind you guys all right you guys that's how to jump start your hyundai sonata i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe drop me a comment at the bottom and we'll see you guys on the next video